Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman. This is not a computer science uh, things they didn't teach you in school. This is a quick tutorial on how to do a Christmas card mail merge because it is to this day one of the most asked about blog posts that I've ever done. Um, and I did it somewhere in 2008 and people are always asking for it. So here you go. This is the video version of how to do Christmas cards made easy. All right, so you've got Word and you've got Excel, and you've got some address labels. These are Avery address labels. You can get any brand that makes you happy. The most important thing is that they have some unique number down here. So these are Avery 8660s. You need to get whatever makes you happy. But remember that number, Avery 8660. That number tells us the orientation of those labels, how many there are across, and Word knows about those. So that's thing number one to remember. Okay, thing number two to remember is that at the top of Word here, we see it says File, Home, Insert, Layout, Mailings. Right here it says Mailings, and that's the ribbon menu that we're going to use. So instead of being here, when I start out, I say New Document, and I say Mailings. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say Start Mail Merge. Before we do that, though, let's switch over to Excel. You need to have an Excel sheet that has name, address, city, state, zip, at the top right there, just like I have. I've blurred out my friends. You don't want to mail those people. And I'm going to save that Excel file somewhere. In this case, I'll put it on my, on my desktop or in a folder. I'm going to go into Word and I'm going to say Start Mail Merge. And then it's going to say, is this letters, envelopes, labels? I'm going to say labels. All right. Now that's going to pop up and here's where the Avery part came in. You pick your vendor for your labels. Now, in my case, I'm using Avery US Letter. You might be using A4 or whatever. And then we said what? We said Avery 8660. Avery's got all the labels. Clearly, they need to sponsor this show, but they don't because I don't know anyone at Avery. 8660. Scroll, 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 scroll. Pick the one that you have. It's okay. There we go. Cool. You can see here that it knows automatically the size of those labels. So I'm going to hit OK. And there'll be a thing here where it says nothing will happen. You'll say start mail merge, and then you'll click that and be like, what happened? Now select recipients. It's a one, two, three process. So we're going to say use an existing list. And grab that file. And then it's going to say select table. Suddenly you're going to feel like a database person. Not really though. You're going to say Christmas list. This is actually from 2020. I guess I forgot to rename it uh, from 2018. It says first row of data contains headers, name, address, city, state, zip. That's okay. We'll hit all right. And then this is where it gets confusing. What's going to happen is it's going to just say next record, next record, next record. And you're going to be like, what do I do? What's happening? Well, there's a couple of things that are going on here. First, this mailing list is actually uh, set up without putting down the blocks, the, um, the address blocks. Right now it just says there's going to be a label here and a label here and a label here. We didn't actually say first name, address, and whatnot. So we have to go and design these. We have to design these. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first label and we're going to say insert merge field name. I'm going to say enter. Now you see how there's too much space there? I just said enter. And see how there's a lot of space between name and the next line? This is my preference. I'm going to instead pushing the enter key or the return key, I'm going to hit shift enter. I have a little bit less there. Then I'm going to say address, shift enter, then city, comma. I click it again, state. And then I'm going to hit space. And then I'm going to say zip. Okay, now this is not intuitive. We've got city state zip. How do I get it everywhere else? Now I'm going to say update labels. And this next record thing here, this next record literally means an instruction to Microsoft Word to move to the next record. Okay, so now let's go and preview the results. And I see addresses of humans. That looks good. Okay. Now we'll move to our phone. So what we're going to do now, so now I'm on my phone. 
I'm going to take my labels over to my printer. This might be the part in the video where you say, wait, I need a printer? Yes, you need a printer. Otherwise, what are you doing? And now my son is watching because I'm he's doing homework and I'm doing a video, so don't say anything. I'm going to come over here to my printer. I'm going to put my labels in the printer. By default, my printer uses white paper. I'm going to pull that out. And then I'm going to look right here and I'm going to note that it has some lines indicating that the side that I'm printing on goes up. Okay. So then we're going to take our labels, take them out of our label thing here with one hand because we're a YouTuber that does not own a selfie stick. And then I'm going to take my labels. I'm going to note the up there this way. I want to make sure that I'm printing on them correctly. And I'll put them into my tray facing up. I'm going to make sure that everything's nice and square. And I'm indicating that I'm printing on the right side. You can try this with just one set to make sure you get it right, because you don't want to burn through hundreds of labels for your Christmas list if you aren't, in fact, ready for it. Okay, so now we head back over here and we have a seat. So now let's try to print. Control P, pick our laser, or in this case, whatever printer we're going to use. And then we can decide to print the whole thing or just print one. Let's try printing one page because I'm afraid it might not work. Something's happening. Labels printed correctly. All right, let's do a bunch of them. So that worked. So I'm going to hit finish and merge, and then I'm going to say print documents. And this will be the final mail merge. I'm going to print all of them to my printer. We'll run over there again. So it looks like my labels printed. I got lots of them now. It's a very satisfying feeling, I must say, to print out your labels and have it work on the first try. That's the basic idea of how to do that. I want to remind you, of course, when you print from this screen, you're printing out these commands as a test. When you click Finish and Merge, that's when you actually do the merging and you pull out your printed documents. So I said, finish and merge. I probably could have or should have said from one to one. And when I printed that out, I would have gotten the first, uh, the first um, series of labels. What I ended up with, of course, was a bunch of things, things that said next record, next record, next record. But when I did the actual merge, I ended up with stuff. And now I'm going to put them on hundreds of Christmas cards, which is very exciting. Thank you very much.